Hey, mid-sized SUV fans. Do you need seven-passenger seating? Are you willing to trade a bit of size for a lower starting price? You are? Well, then come join me in the Kia Sorento. Seize the command position, and you'll appreciate a comfortably contoured seat, soft materials in all the critical spots, tasteful trim and stitching, and climate controls smartly sequestered from the infotainment system. On that note, the Sorento deserves bonus usability points for its clearly labeled, smartly arranged buttons and knobs. Notice how the seat heating and cooling controls are all in a row, all by themselves. That glorious usability extends to the infotainment system, which hits the right balance between on-screen menus and dedicated physical buttons. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard, so even more points there. And watch how easy it is to connect your phone via Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth on from your device in order to search. On your device, select the name that matches. Pair. And that's it. It's so easy. I guess that gives us time to just sort of hang out. So, do you like stuff? Naturally, I have a minor complaint about the armrest. They're soft, but too low to rest my arms on while holding the steering wheel. Life sure can be hard sometimes. Oh, hey, the squirrel's back. From the driver's seat, you have a clear view in most directions, though the Sorento semi-high belt line could hide rogue Miatas. No, that's Rouge Miatas. Better. As hinted up front, the Kia Sorento is smaller than the Nissan Pathfinder, Toyota Highlander, and Ford Explorer. What does that mean for second row occupants? Not much. The seats are comfortable, they slide, and recline. Though now that I think about it, that might have implications for the third row. Oh, right, my actions affect other people. Without some second row diplomacy, third row legroom is tight. The same holds true for headroom. Plus, the rearmost seats do not recline. If you need seven adult sized seats, give the VW Atlas a try. And if you need eight seats, both the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander will oblige. Wedged between the Sorento's third row and optional power tailgate hides a modest 11.3 cubic feet. If you've got real gear to haul, you'll need to ditch some dead weight. Sorry, Tim. Duly unencumbered, cargo space expands to a more usable 38 cubic feet. Lower the second row as well for a max capacity of 73 cubic feet. That's small compared to the Chevy Traverse's 98.2 cubic feet. Then again, the Sorento is roughly 15 inches shorter than the Traverse, and its roof is more than 4 inches lower. So for parallel parking or squeezing into low garages, the Sorento has the advantage. The Sorento's small stature also brings a highly competitive sub-$27,000 base price that includes a 5-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and essentials like cruise control, stain-resistant cloth seats, and a 7-inch touchscreen. If you can afford an extra $1,500, the Sorento LX trim adds blind spot monitoring, an acoustic windshield to make the cabin a little bit quieter, and two rapid charge USB ports. And unlike the front drive only L trim, the LX can be equipped with an $1,800 all wheel drive system featuring a lock function to evenly apportion power between the front and rear tires. Ah, sweet traction. Life gets even better with the LX V6, which includes dual zone climate control and a power driver's seat. The LX V6 also includes a V6, and a rockin' V6 it is. Displacing 3.3 liters, the optional V6 delivers swift acceleration, can tow up to 5,000 pounds, and comes matched to an 8-speed automatic so smooth, Rob Thomas won't shut up about it. Give me your shift, make it real, or else forget about it. Oh, I missed the shifter. The Eager V6 is our first choice, but if budgetary concerns weigh heavy, stick with the standard 2.4 liter four cylinder. You'll give up more than 100 horsepower versus the V6, but you'll save $2,500, you'll gain a few MPG, and you'll still get to where you're going, just a little slower. While driving, I've noticed that the steering feels quick, and after double checking, sure enough, it's a 14.1 to one ratio. That's quick. The body will roll, and the tires may squeal, 
but for a family SUV, the Sorento is almost agile. Of course, a more vital concern is ride comfort, another Sorento strong suit. Bumps are absorbed with the grace, higher's demand from leading midsize SUVs. For a fancier SUV experience, higher trims offer leather, keyless access with push-button start, a massive moonroof, and advanced safety features like lane departure warning and prevention, forward collision warning with automatic braking, and adaptive cruise control. Loaded with an 8-inch navigation display, a 360-degree camera system, and wireless phone charging, the lofty SX Limited trim lands north of $47,000. As always, before plunking down your hard-won cash, it's smart to consider the alternatives, including the popular Ford Explorer, the roomy VW Atlas, the practical Toyota Highlander with its strong resale values, the thoughtfully crafted Honda Pilot, and the also thoughtfully crafted Chevrolet Traverse. There's a mid-size SUV for every taste, but if you dig value, sensible design, a long warranty, and you don't mind a slightly condensed form factor, the Kia Sorento delivers big.